Okay, this is my first finished triode. Came out to be pretty much like a, a British Type R uh, or a French TM valve, but it's, uh, it serves no real purpose. It just turned out that uh, parts and material I had at hand were pretty well suited for this. And it even comes with a getter. And over the last two hours, everything at least seems to keep up fine. So what I did here is I'm running the filament at one and a quarter amps currently, which is the bare minimum at which I get any emission at all. Uh, I can go up to one and a half, but this would uh, cut the expected lifetime of the filament uh, in tens, and so uh, I decided to settle with that. And we are running like uh, 5 milliamps currently with a uh, voltage of uh, about 125 on the anode currently. So in this crude setup what I did is uh, simply connect a small uh, 200k resistance uh, in series with the anode and I'm using a small auxiliary supply uh, to deliver a variable negative voltage on the grid. So uh, the supply cannot uh, deliver anything below 1.2 volts uh, due to its internal uh, construction and uh, what I'm ending up is now uh, 80 volts uh, at the point, midpoint of the divider and out resistance. And when I'm increasing this voltage I'm in fact uh, decreasing grid voltage so going more negative and once I do that, even a small turn of the knob uh, gives me a large swing in anode voltage, uh, which pretty much proves that this uh, device is actually amplifying something. Uh, unluckily, I'm lacking the necessary amount of meters uh, at the moment. Uh, the situation with all these bench meters is not very desirable anyway, uh, but I didn't find the time to build any decent lab supply yet. Uh, However, it's uh, enough to prove that, some, that there is some life <laughs> in this uh, element, at least for the first few hours after its uh, completion. So it's been on the pump here for like, I think it was four or five hours. I baked it at 560 degrees Celsius. Don't know what this is in Fahrenheit. Uh, and uh, I did a, as good as I could bombardment of the grid and the anode to drive out any gases. Uh, at least the meters settled somewhere in the mid 10 to the minus 6 millibar range. So at least for now I would call this a success, given the <laughs> vast number of chances I had to mess this up. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well, even though the sealing between the, the pinch or the, uh, the press and the envelope uh, didn't turn out as well as I thought, but I nearly <laughs> messed it up entirely, and I'm pretty glad I was able to fix that. So uh, the real proof will be over the next few days to see if everything holds up. Luckily I've got the getter, so small amounts of gas traces will be captured and I've got a good visual indicator uh, whether something is leaky because I'm still not really sure how well the pinch on the press turned out. Okay, thank you very much for your help and I hope to be able to show you something even more elaborate at the beginning of next year.